Good afternoon on this Wednesday high five. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I remember Catherine Coleman said she would come on stage and she'd say, have all of you been waiting for me? <laughs> I totally forgot to do this. You know, I've been up since six o'clock this morning and uh, haven't stopped. And I was at the, at, uh, on the road and I thought, oh my goodness, I haven't done my high five yet. <laughs> They, they, uh, my, all my friends must think I'm in jail again. <laughs> uh, you know, yesterday I started rewriting the Power of the Blood book and um, uh, got actually the first four chapters done, so I think I'm going to be able to do it quick. What I really want to do, and I'll, I'll give you a little hint into it, I'm rewriting it and I'm putting in extra chapters. And if you remember, the, the, the Word of the Lord gave it to me in 2008. And... Um, I did not realize that 2008 was the Shemitah year. Well, this year uh, at Rosh Hashanah begins the Shemitah year too, and I want to make sure this book gets out before the Shemitah year begins uh, so you know how to pray for the, the year. And um, so that's just kind of a little hint into what I've been doing. And um, so I'm not sitting around here crocheting or anything like that. Or, and uh, But... When I was in the book, it reminded me of the vision that Kenneth Hagin had about the three frogs that came out of the Atlantic Ocean. And uh, so I found it in um, the Triumphant Church. It's not the whole thing. I, I know I have it some other place too. But I want to share the vision of the three frogs because it also is for today. So, and he wrote here, and it's on page 235, it's called The Vision of the Frogs. And he said, I had two similar and unusual spiritual experiences, one in 1970 and the other in 1979, that showed me how real our responsibility is to pray for the nation and the world. In both visions, I saw three huge, black, frog-like creatures coming out of the Atlantic Ocean. They looked like huge frogs, except they were much longer, larger, about the size of a whale's. In the first vision, 1970, I saw three dark beings come up out of the Atlantic, and they seemed to leap all over across the land. In the second vision of 1979, I again saw three frog-like creatures, and one of those creatures came out of the water and looked like it was about to land on the shores. And then he... Um, talks about the waters, doesn't mean the actual Atlantic Ocean, it talks about the seas, about the multitude of peoples. Uh, in the first vision, I knew that the three frog-like creatures leaping across the ocean, uh, country meant three strategies of the devil would arise out of the multitude of peoples against our nation. The first strategy of Satan would be riots and disturbances. Sound familiar? The second would be political upheaval, Watergate as it turned out. And the third, problems in the economic sector of our nation. Now, I just want to break in and I want to remind you about the riot, riotings that happened during that time. A lot of the things that we saw last year were happening back in the 70s. Um, and so it said, these evil strategies from the enemy don't arise from Christian population. And I hope that, I, I wish somebody would remind Congress about that, talking about January 6th. Uh, next, they came from the masses of those walking in darkness because sinners are held in bondage and dominated by the devil in the kingdom of darkness. In the second vision of 1979, Jesus said to me, if the Christians of this nation had done what I told them to do in my word and had prayed for the leaders of their country, they would have kept those evil spirits you saw in 1970 from operating in this nation. None of these, those upheavals would have occurred in your nation. You would not have had political, social, economic disturbances in this nation, and the president never would have made the mistakes he made. In fact, I'm holding the church responsible for the president's mistakes. Wow. Then I heard Jesus say that. I cried out, my God, and, he be and I began to weep. This is Kenneth Hagin speaking. And Jesus continued, yes, 
The church is responsible before God Almighty. Boy, it sounds like he's rebuking us. I mean, take it seriously, God. He, guys, he's not talking about the seven churches. He's, he's talking about the days we're living in now. He said, yes, the church is responsible before God Almighty. I know when I tell you that some of the Christians, they will laugh but they will wait until they stand before my judgment seat and see if they laugh when they are the ones who will receive the judgment. Jesus was saying that Christians could have stopped those evil strategies of the devil by taking their place in prayer based on the word of God. Christians have authority on the earth in Jesus' name, and if Christians have prayed for those in authority, America would not have been in the riots or political or economic upheavals that experienced our nation in 1970. In this vision in 1979, I saw the other frogs about to land on our shores again. And Jesus said to me, you can see that the three similar evil strategies of the devil are about to happen again in this nation. First, unless Christians pray, there will be arise another time of riots, tumults, disturbances all across the nation coming from different causes other than disturbances of the early 1970s. Second, he said, something is about to happen to your president that should not happen and will not happen if Christians pray. If Christians pray, okay? Take authority over the devil's strategies and bind the works of my name. And third, unless Christians pray, there is something about to happen that will begin to uh, bring further trouble in the economic scene, in a financial structure of our nation. It sounds like it's repeating itself from the 70s. And it does, it goes all the way back to what Carter did. And if you remember, Biden visited Carter not too long ago, okay? Jesus concluded, once again, Christians can stop all of these strategies of the devil across the nation. They can stop the upheaval through riots, tumults, disturbances in the social structure. They can stop the upheaval and act activity of the devil in the political scene of the nation. They can stop the devil from disrupting the financial scene of the nation. Many Christians did pray and plan of the enemy was greatly averted and thwarted because Christians stood in their place of authority in Jesus' name and began to pray and exercise their authority over the devil. God intervened in our behalf. And what he was talking about with the president was Nixon with Watergate. And um, so <laughs> what I want you to know is God is holding us responsive. God wants us to, we have been given all, all power and authority. Jesus was given all power and authority. And now he is ahead and we're the body of Christ. And we need to, to use that authority, take the, take the word of God and pray. Find people to pray with that just don't, that want to pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.